Hey everyone, Bryce with Airbyte here. I want to show you how we can use ABCTO with an Amazon Web Services EC2 instance. So I have an instance up and running here. It's a T22XL. It has a public IP address here. The security group allows me to SSH into the machine as well as opens up port 8000, which ABCTO uses by default. In Route 53, I have configured an A record here that points to the IP address and has bgroff-ami.abapp.cloud as the record name. I'll show you in just a minute why that is important. So if we switch back over, first requirement that we'll need to have is Docker installed. I already have it, so there's nothing to do. You want to start the service like this, sudo service docker start. And you also want to make sure that you add the EC2 user to the Docker group. Now, I've already done this. And after you do this, you're going to want to exit and then log back in. That way the shell knows that your user is actually part of the Docker group. So if we do a Docker PS, we should be able to see that we have Docker up and running. Now real quickly, I'm going to download the ABCTO using our handy git airbyte.com. And now that I have it, I can do ABCTO version. And it looked like I actually had it ABCTL already installed, so I'm going to go ahead and uninstall it first. Okay. And we do an ABCTL local install. And I'll pause the recording here while we wait for the instance to come up. All right. So the installation was successful. So the first thing that I want to do is actually install kubectl. And there's directions online for how you do that. Basically, you download the binary copy it somewhere on your path. So I have this already, and we need to actually edit our ingress. And the reason that we need to do that is because by default, ABCTL will set the host name as localhost. So if we edit the ingress of the Airbyte namespace, oops, plus two, two, excuse me, kube config, Airbyte, ABCTL, ABCTL kube config, there we go, okay. And we change this host name here to be. Do, 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 do. We want it to be our bgroff ami.abapp.cloud. That's why this is important. And we save it, and it'll tell us that the ingress was edited. Great. We should be all set up. If we go to bgroff ami.abapp.cloud, we should now see our new instance, port 8000, of course. There we go. <laughs> Great. And now you see that we are in our instance of Airbyte. In the next round of AWS technology, I'd like to show how you can use an ELB plus ACM certificate manager to actually put a real SSL certificate on this and be able to remove the need for exposing port 8000 on the EC2 machine. So stay tuned.